G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my 50 cent collection book, partly filled with the 50 cent pieces that we've found so far from the commemorative series, except for the very last coin the 2019 Indigenous Languages coin. That's the only coin I'm waiting to find out of this book. And then we should finish it off and start a new book. I've got multiple keepers and uh, oddities and nice uh, grade coins found. But at the moment we're trying to get through the commemorative coins and the coat of arms to try and find the Indigenous Languages coin from 2019, which will complete the set. So I'll be going mainly looking through the reverses of the coins with the coat of arms. Just trying to get through to the ones that we're looking for. And here is the coat of arms. That's the uh, standard 50 cent piece. This one is a 2021 uh, copy. So that's currently, we don't know the mintage of that. So that'll be a keeper for the moment. But otherwise, and there's another one, we're probably going to find a fair amount of 2021 coins at this point. We don't know what the mintage is going to be. We know some of the mintage, but not all of it. And then our first commemorative coin is going to be this 1994 Year of the Family. So what I'll do is uh, I'll call out the commemorative coins. I'll tell you what they're called. We'll annotate them and then we'll move on. And the next time we see that particular coin, I'll just lay it down. But as we go through, every time we see a new commemorative coin, I'll call it out. And there, in the last of the roll, is a 2005 student competition winner for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. So that was the design that went to secondary school students uh, to <coughs> design a, a coin for the Melbourne 2005 Olympics. And that was the competition winner. So as I said, the standard type is the coat of arms, and I'll also be at the end going through all of the coat of arms that I put to the side looking for uh, years where there was no 50 cent pieces issued or if there was low minted 50 cent pieces. And the years that I'll be looking for is 1986, 87, uh, 89, 1990, 92, and uh, as well I'll be looking for 1985 coins and 1993 coins for low mintage. And here we have a 2001 Centenary of Federation with the Commonwealth Coat of Arms. 2001 had a series of state coins with state emblems on them, so we look for those. This is a 1982 Commonwealth Games Brisbane uh, coin, one of the first commemoratives. So when we're done looking through all the coins, I'll, I'll, I'll go through them. There we go. And hopefully as we go through the coins today, we'll, we'll uh, find an Indigenous Languages coin or we'll find some state coins. Um, So that we can, uh, the state coins are, are low minted, we, so we look for those for um, low mintage coins. And there is a coin from 2000, the Millennium coin. This coin has a variety where the center of the Union flag, the cross in the center, and some other parts of it are incused, which means they're indented into the coin rather than etched. That's not one of them though, so we. It's just a normal variety, so we lay that one down. There's another 2021 coin, and probably another one, yep. Significant amount of those coming out of the woodwork at the moment, so I'm not holding my breath that they're going to be a particularly low minted coin now. It's uh, the start of 2022. There's a 1991 coin, uh, and there we have. The 25th anniversary of decimal currency, and as you can see, that is quite a nice 
shiny lustrous coin with quite clear fields behind the queen's head so it's in a really really good nick that's definitely a keeper for me it is a higher minted coin 1991 uh 4.7 million but not a great uh greatly uh, large so that'll go down the bottom uh with the low minted coins because i'll be keeping that and there we have a 2005 60th anniversary of the end of World War II, the Remembrance coin. We'll keep going. And then we have the primary school competition winner for the design on the 50 cent piece in 2004. So the students had a crack, um, the primary school students and then the secondary school students had a crack at designing a 50 cent piece by competition. A, for the first time today, 1998 Bass and Flinders. So I'll put that on that side, and then again for the first time today, a 2003 Australia's Volunteers. And here we have something that is unusual. It's an ender with a centenary a federation coin on it. So that's Northern Territory. So we'll crack that one open, get that one out. That'll be definitely a keeper. It's one of the state and territory coins I was talking about that uh, we keep for the centenary of federation. This is obviously a territory coin, Northern Territory. So 2001. It's not in bad nick. But it does have the, on this side, it does have the roller marks. Because it was an ender. But definitely a keeper. So that'll go down the bottom there. And now we'll speed things up if we, uh, we can. It's a 2019 J.D. Clark. It's a low minted coin, so that'll go to the side. Not a commemorative, but a low minted coin. That's another 2001. And it is another Centenary Federation coin, and this one is South Australia. And this is a coin that I find very, very hard to find. This is only, I think, the third one I've ever found, and it's in really good nick. It's really shiny in the fields, and very nice on the uh, obverse there. So I'm very happy to find that, the uh, South Australia. That'll come, because I don't find them very often, I'm always waiting for those to turn up. And look at that. And the next one is a NIFC coin, not intended for circulation, but yes, with the South Australian coin, that'll complete another set for me so that's fantastic and then the next coin is a united coin this is a not intended for circulation this was issued in 2018 as part of a uh a national newspaper um token sort of giveaway and you bought the newspaper and, and you could get the coins as well and there, there's a number of these i've got a couple but certainly not i don't think i've got united which is great it's in it's in great nick because they don't, they don't see much circulation so that's fantastic uh, not intended for circulation 50 cent piece great to find and then for the first time today we have a year of the outback from 2002 And from 1995, for the first time today, we have 
the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II in 1995 with the portrait of Weary Dunlop on the front. One of Australia's um, preeminent war heroes from the Second World War. And this uh, particular coin has a large cud or uh, where the coin was underdeveloped down near the robe of the priest. So down the bottom here, there is a large cud. Uh, it's quite easy to see. The coin is pretty dirty otherwise, but it is quite a large cud. Uh, so I'll put that to the side. So I'll keep that for the collection. Collection of errors. I do have other specimens that are a little bit better grade, but the, the cut might not be as big, so I'll go through when I have a look and see uh, what it's like. That particular coin, the 2005 Remembrance coin, uh, the run apparently, apparently was cut short due to the amount of errors that that coin had. It had significant number of errors uh, in the die, uh, either construction or the composition of the die and a significant number of those coins went out into circulation with, with errors. For the first time today, we have a 2010 Celebrate What's Great, Australia Day. Australia celebrates Australia Day celebration. Oh, and it's a very clean, a very nice looking Iatsis call coin. So the uh, Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders studies, uh, 1964 to 2014. It's a very nice coin, and this is in very good nick. Uh, I've had a, this is the third one in about four or five weeks, so it's definitely a, a nice coin. I do only have about four or five of them at all, but uh, yeah, very nice coin to be pulling out of circulation.
and 1981 uh, for the first time today Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer wedding commemoration And look at that, just like that, we are on to the last coin roll for today. $150 worth of uh, 50 cent pieces today. We're on to the last roll. We haven't yet found the Indigenous Languages coin for today, but we've still got $10 to go through or less. And we have found significant keep our coins today so not a total bust but definitely as we get through to the last coin which is a 2000 coin will be a millennium coin there you go not in queues so unfortunately again uh, we haven't found the Indigenous Languages coin, which is a bit of a shame, but we do have a significant number of keepers here. So the 21st, 25th anniversary of decimal currency with the ram's head from the original shilling, 1991, that is definitely a keeper. We've got two Centenary of Federation low mintage coins, the South Australia and the Northern Territory. My, for mine, the South Australian is definitely the, uh, the best one of those two because I, I really... Would like to see that. An NIFC, not intended for circulation, United coin. That is a magnificent coin to find. And again, the uh, IATSIS coin from 2014. It's a great coin as a keeper, but it's not It's not going to be my plum. It's actually quite hard to figure out who, which one the plum is. Today, please, if you have an idea of which one the plum is, let me know. I'm not going to call it as yet. I'm going to, I'm going to clear there all these off. I'm going to go through all the other coat of arms and see if there's anything of any note and I'll come back uh, with the desk clean and, and we'll uh, go through what I found. Be back in a second. Oh well I'm back again. I'll tell you what I have had a cracking hunt. I cannot believe how good this hunt has turned out. So we have two Centenary of Federation coins. South Australia which I hardly ever found, find and it's going to make up another set for me and uh, Northern Territory. The low minted IATSIS coin uh, from 2014, a low mint but a very nice grade 25th anniversary of decimal currency, very high grade, that's fantastic. And a, a not intended for circulation, a 50 cent piece united from the uh, 2018 series uh, for the World War II, that has been just a spectacular hunt on its own. But then what I have picked up out of the coat of arms has also uh, blown me away. I've got a 1997, now you would have seen these a couple of weeks ago, 4 point, oh, what is it, 4.3, 4 point, yeah, 4.3 million of those. So low minted and one of the lowest minted for the years. Uh, and I keep those when I can. I've got a really, really, really nice high, high grade 1984, which I've been getting a lot of uh, 80s uh, coins lately that are in a high grade, but this is going to have to be the uh, pick of the hunt because this is a coat of arms that is from uh, 1986. 
1986 being one of the years that I say nearly every time at the start that I'm looking for years where there was no 50 cent pieces circulated. So a 1986 50 cent piece from the year where no 50 cent pieces were circulated. This is an NIFC coin and that's great, but 1986, uh, fantastic. And it's in pretty high grade. It's not, uh, it's not uncirculated condition, but it is very, very uh, lightly worn. And I'm very, very happy to find that. Of all the uh, hunts that I've done, this is the first time on camera where I've pulled out a, uh, a, a not issued 50 cent coat of arms. I do have a 1990 that I pulled out a couple of months before I started making videos, but this is a particularly nice pick for me. So this, this would be my plum, even though I've got a fantastic array of uh, coins in front of me. Uh, that one will be my pick. So, I waffled on a bit too long there, but thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please think about subscribing. Press the bell. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. How, how many uh, coins from the years when none were circulated have you found? And tell me the story of how you found it. I'd love to hear it. But I'll be back in a couple of days for more noodling, so I'll see you next time. Bye.